because this principle of interpretive information plus other tools from quantum information and theory of entanglement is telling us that if we successfully detect entanglement, then all theories that, that claim that gravity is classical are refuted. It doesn't say which quantum theory of gravity we should pursue, but at least it tells us that this idea that gravity is classical is definitely wrong. And that's quite beautiful. Um, and I think the good news is that we're actually not that far. Um, what do I mean by that? Well, I, I've tried to represent on this um, line a few nice masses that the physicists that are working on this bear in mind a lot. Um, so here on this side, before this buckyball thing, there should be electrons and then neutrons and things like that. Um, buckyballs are uh, 20 minus 24 kilograms, uh, and these objects can easily be put into these special superpositions by experimentalists. Um, then we have things like viruses, and we are actually almost there. We, we, you know, you, we can actually put a virus into a spatial superposition, almost, I would say. And then there are objects like human cell, which are exactly the type of scale that we need for this experiment. So the masses have to be quite heavy uh, by the standards of quantum theory. But they are not that bad. And of course, if you go down this line, at some point you hit something like four kilograms, which is, which is approximately the mass of Schrodinger's cat, which is what Schrodinger <laughs> would have liked to see superposed. And, and actually, I would like also to see a cat being superposed. But for that, we have to wait. Luckily for the cats, I would say. Um, and um, so this red thing denotes exactly where we should be in order for this experiment to be realized. And there is a race now, because this idea was proposed by a number of people, including me and other people also working in London. Um, and, and then, uh, well, quantum gravity people seem to have been excited by this. So they are, they, are, they are trying to think about it to improve on the theoretical side. And then experimentalists, well, we, we have been knocking at their doors, uh, trying to ask, uh, hi, can you superpose a human cell? And they say, well, not quite. We can only superpose buckyballs, but we can try a bit harder. And it uh, depends on how much money we have and so on. Unfortunately, money comes always in. It's not very idealistic, but that's, that's the way it is. And um, that's what's happening. So people are trying to get ready to do in this experiment. And we're very much hoping that despite of the fact that this is very challenging, just because it's accessible in principle, uh, we can realize it. And this would be very exciting because this would rule out all of these theories that we've been um, thinking about so far, including, including strictly speaking, also um, classical theory of general relativity. This seems to be a good, happy ending.